China conversation. That strategy on the part of some of the black community to, uh, to blame the whites and uh, therefore try to change policy could be one of the reasons why uh, many in the white community, community resent the blacks these days. And, well, and it can, can contribute to the prejudice and be a backlash. Actually. Right, and it, it goes to the point that no one ever responds well to criticism, no matter who you are. Mm -hmm. um, Al Capone went to his grave thinking he was a nice guy who was just misunderstood. Mm -hmm. And in spite of all the evidence of all the dead bodies and all, everything around him, Al Capone went to his grave believing he was a nice guy that was misunderstood. And anybody, what is anyone's reaction when come, someone comes up and sticks their f finger in your face and tells you you have a flaw? No matter what, whether they're right or not, you back up and say, oh yeah, well let me tell you about your flaws. And that is his human nature and it always has been. And it's always going to work that way. The dominant culture, what, what we want to call white culture in the society, is, is no different than anybody else and we're always, everyone is always going to get their back up when someone's wagging their finger in your face. And it's not an effective strategy. It makes Jesse Jackson a very rich, I don't know, physically, but a very prosperous and well-heeled and well-known and celebrity. And it makes a lot of other people who run around and are on the civil rights establishment wagon, it makes their lives very comfortable. But it doesn't change anything at all. What I hear Kurt saying is that there's a lot of resentment among white people because they feel that a lot of black people are shaking their fingers in the, in the, in the faces of white people blaming white people for all the problems in the black community and not helping themselves. I want to hear responses from other people on this. Well, I think one important factor is that, it, from my view, in the world of work, white people tend to want everything to be harmonious and calm and everybody should get along all the time. And my view of black people in the world of work, that they are newcomers and that they say it like it is and they say it loudly and they complain and they say, I don't like this, you're treating me unfairly, and they're right, but we don't want to hear it. And it's very painful to hear it. So when I try to talk to a black person who I feel is angry at me, I want to defend myself and say, but it's not me. So I think that's a very difficult situation. I think it's pervasive and it goes on and on. And then, and then white managers and supervisors kind of back away and they don't, uh, they don't listen because the voices are louder and the voices are, they're unfamiliar to us. Joanne, what you said about mm -hmm. how when they complain they're right, that is, is just what I, I said that I thought is yes. my point is it yes. doesn't matter if you are right. Blame is a, a very nebulous thing and it's not, we, no one can reach out and touch blame but we're always shoving it all over the place and we're always trying to assign it. And, it, and it, like you say, in a situation where a newcomer comes in and they make a lot of noise and they complain and they're right, well, change that. Take away that person's color and race. You get a newcomer comes in anywhere, makes a lot of a noise and screams a lot, what do you do? They're out, and they should be. People, there's, you know, and we're talk, talking about hierarchy. Hierarchies are necessary But here's in a lot where of I disagree, because they don't know the culture that they're walking into. And if, if we don't make them a party to that, if we don't share ideas and perceptions, if we don't hear them out and they don't hear us out, how are we, we're just going to keep getting rid of them? No, That's not I don't think so. I um, had an experience where I was a contractor at a company in the Twin Cities and I was cube mates with a black man that they hired and this guy was running a business on company time. They knew he was. They knew it from the first two days he was on the job. They asked me what I knew about it, and I said, nothing, C keep me out of this. I don't see nothing. Figure it out for yourself. I'm not interested in getting into this. And this individual worked here for more than three months, did little or nothing for the company. He was well aware that he was getting kid glove treatments. They actually went to where they actually had to tap his phone, and monitor him very closely and document meticulously his misconduct before they would ever think of releasing him. And even when they did finally say, when they finally did fire him, it was, I'm sure they worried about it. I'm disturbed by somebody like 
I think it's McPhee, is that his name? That's the pastor. McAfee, the pastor of the church up there. We had a back black representative in the state legislature here three or four years ago that uh, was on drugs, got caught stealing. He got kicked out of the state legislature for, I can't remember what the point is now. And these are the people I think they listen to more than listen to black people with more common sense. And of course, I think the two people that I mentioned are doing it for their own betterment. To, re to, to keep people on edge is for their own betterment. Let me throw out something else here. Do you think that black people or other races are hypersensitive, uh, especially regarding matters concerning race and particularly concerning racism? Of course, just like women are hypersensitive about the poor treatment that we've had in the business world. We're very aware. All of our antenna are out. We see it very clearly. I think they are. I don't think right resides on any side of any issue, you know, for more than a minute at a time. Nobody's all, always right. Mm -hmm. But there certainly has been a lot of police violence, and that seems to be a growing problem in our society. I think that's well, horrible. Let me give you an example. Thank you.